In Victoria 3, there are many great nations to play as. But for every great nation, there are 10 not so great nations. And today, I will be playing as one of them. The Zulu. Does Koifish have what it takes to bring this nation out of poverty and ignorance into a beacon of progress in Africa? I guess the only way to find that out is to watch this video. My name is Koifish, and this is the Zulu Experience. Here we are, in the lovely city Pieterbaritsburg. Doesn't sound very Zulu to me. Sounds like we're getting some influence from Orange, Orange. God bless the Dutch for uh, their uh, lovely language, even though I technically think this is Afrikaans. We are the Zulu, an unrecognized power, but with a decent GDP. I mean, it could be worse. We could be the Katiri people, with a GDP of about everything you can find in your couch and the lint in your dryer. <laughs> Our science is... Uh, I mean, we haven't even unlocked manufacturers. Industrialization is pretty far away from the Zulu people. But that's fine, because we have a growing, uh, although immoral, slave industry. Uh, my goal is to get rid of this. Now it's a good time to start talking about my goal. I want to take the Zulu people, get the literacy through the roof, increase my GDP. I will try to take out, either through war or uh, diplomatic means, my enemies. I'm gonna make the Zulu into the best goddamn nation in Victoria 3. To start off with that, we're gonna have to go on the war front. Broomfontein? I don't give a rat's bottom what you say about it. You are being conquered, my man. Because the Zulu is a very powerful warrior nation. If you've seen Roar's Drift, uh, you catch my drift, you know what I mean? This is a problem, Koifish. You never learned Zulu. That's fine. I can probably wing it. Dingiswayo and Tabeni. You will make for a great general, my friend. Mobilize the troops. Put them on the front. Zululu. Zulululand. Vristat. Let's pick a research. I think I'm gonna go for something either in the military, but the rationalism, that's even more strong. Let's have the Zulu become rational. And while that happens, we will plant the banana. Plant the banana in the Zulu land, please. Now we have to be careful, because the British do have an interest in protecting the Cape Colony. And if us Zulu people get too strong, you have to be careful so the Brits don't join. So while we're at it, why don't we improve relationship with the British? Right now, they're cautious. We can also improve relationship with the Cape Colonies. In a world of enemies, some of those enemies might as well be your friends. We can also take a look at our government. We are ruled by Dingane Zulu. Good branding, Dingane. Having the name of your nation as your surname, that's recognizability. We have great traits. Ambitious is wonderful. Our government currently has the armed forces in it. Now, I think it would be good if we could get the landowners in on this as well. The landowners are for slavery. Now, although slavery is absolutely horrible, this is a video game. And I need my virtual bananas picked by people that I'm not paying. So, let's reform the government this way. Armed forces and the landowners. Now, let's prepare for wars! Oh, the Brits decided to be neutral? Thank you. Thank you very much. Orange backs down! <gasps> we took the state without a single fight! Let's go! How's those banana plantations coming along? Banana plantation going very strong. The Zulu people need more bananas. Eat banana, be strong. You, you, you're strong, you can beat up the Dutchman. Come, Mr. Tallyman. Tally me banana. Daylight, come and I wanna go home. <laughs> we will become a banana republic. More bananas. I actually don't eat bananas myself. Uh, I, I don't I don't like bananas at all. The Zulus are at it again. What are they gonna do? Come on, Brits. Don't intervene. It's just the Zulu. The British and the Zulu have great relationship. Don't try to stick your nose in this. There's no tea in either of our nations. Very good. Come on, back down. Back down. Either you back down or you die, sir. You die. Hurra! My brothers, push the front. Take this, you poor bastards. Boom. First area taken. Next front, come on! Do not give them a second! He's doing a surprise maneuver! The surprise is he's not fighting properly! Who knew that the warmongering Zulu people were so good at war? Crush! Slap! Hit! Shoot! We have not taken a single loss! I mean, we're taking losses, absolutely! There's like a thousand dead Zulus here! The Zulu are prospering! Look at us! Uh, we're struggling! But our GDP has gone up! When we conquered land. <laughs> $2 for every boar you convince us to stop speaking Afrikaans. <laughs> Senza corna ka shenga ka shona. Leader of the landowners is preaching about the benefits that a mysterious and secret political gamble can bring to our government. When asked for details, he smiles coyly, refusing to elaborate. All right then, keep your secrets. How bad can it be, huh? The dramatic scheme by the landowners has come to a disastrous end. Oh no. Did what with a cow? Did what with a cow? You cannot be trusted with power. You did what with the cow? Huh? Political maneuver with the cow? Very well then. It seems we own Transvaal. The Zulu nation big. The Zulu nation prosperous. If you go too far away from Turkey, you'll end up in the Bosporus. <laughs> it is time to build the first factory in all of the Zulu lands. We're gonna build a textile mill. 
and we'll build it in the free stat. Soon we will have Zulu shirts. Price for fabric is way too cheap and we can't really sell it to anyone so we might as well use it to make very very cool shirts. Queen Victoria, trade with me please! But first we're making bananas. Small communities of fugitive slaves hidden away by the remote areas of Transvaal have become target of local slaveholders. Why would you hunt down people living in the middle of nowhere, huh? Landowners, uh, it's time to start messing with you. Factories and Vries are refusing to hire poor people. No! You can't do that! All hands are needed, listen. We can't be doing some South Africa stuff in this video, okay? It is a video game. I wanna keep it nice, cordial. We're gonna open those borders up and we're gonna become the immigration haven of the world. Everyone's gonna wanna be here. It's gonna be glorious. Look, first of all, no taxes. Come to the Sulu Nation. We'll turn a blind eye to paying taxes, okay? Hands down, the best colony since the Belgian Congo. No, that's no paranoid slave owners. We're not gonna have slaves for very long. If you're a slave, I'm sorry. If you're a slave watching this video, I'm sorry. <laughs> Look at these, huh? Prospering banana fields that are unable to hire people. I thought we didn't hire people. <laughs> There's resources to be discovered here. I'm gonna find those resources. I'm gonna take them out the ground like a nice fresh potato. And I'm gonna sell it to the British. <laughs> There's a slave revolt in Transvaal. You need to exercise your own demons. Get the demons out of your head, sir. There is not a slave revolt in the Zulu nation. I knew this was gonna happen. Listen. Dingis Wayo and Tabeni has challenged Manjon Joba Kamapita to a duel to the death. Tell you what, you stop. We're just pissing off the landowners, aren't we? Is that bad? Tell you what though, I have an idea. Kick him out the government. They might hold every piece of land in this area, but uh, hey, when I'm done with you, you won't be holding anything but the unlocked shackles of your former slaves. How's that for a bit of poetry, huh? The devout are now powerful. That's gonna bolster us, that's good. Kick out the landowners, put in the Jesus men, and here comes the kicker. We're gonna abolish serfdom. First we liberate the serfs, then we liberate the slaves. A revolution brewing, huh? What are you brewing? Tea? With your slave picked tea leaves? Seems we're about to have a bit of a confederacy versus the union thing in the Zulu. City, can you play Union Dixieland Zimbabwe version? Oh gosh darn it, I don't think we can do this. They're too powerful. Stop the law, stop the law change. Yeah, we pissed you off, I'm sorry. We're gonna have to do this through more diplomatical means. We need booze. Can't we make booze ourselves? What if we make booze factory? Give it distillation. We're gonna make some booze. I've actually had uh, alcohol from Africa. It was from here. I had a very nice drink from the Gambia and it was called Bumpusinu and it looked like nail polish remover and it tasted about the same. But goddamn, it was the best of times. It was the worst of times. The violence has escalated. A peaceful march in Vrystad has suddenly turned violent. Yeah, well, it's because you're shooting at us. Back down, gentlemen. We are not going to be a brutalist police shooting at the people. That is against the Zulu ideals. No, instead we will try to get alcohol. Yeah, subdue the people with booze. That's what I always do. When I'm feeling a bit angry, I usually have a drink. Just about finishing up the first Zulu port. Very nice. The Zulu trade network shall prosper. It is time to sell tea to the British. Very good. Slaves of one of the nation's mercantile ships have risen up. No! Zulu pirates! It's not in our hands, okay? Sorry, landowners. <laughs> the tea plantations, they're making money. All right! That's what we're talking about. Here we go. The first food factory in all of the Zulu lands. Well, it seems we're making absolute bank on the alcohol, which is great. So even though we're importing one thing, we're sort of offsetting that price by getting better alcohol. That's what I'm talking about. Ah, it is time. Zulu University. But first we have to build Zulu Ikea. Because our people do not have any shares to sit on. Oh, line infantry. We get that, we could go toe to toe with even the Portuguese. Mm. Come on friends, build, build faster. Gold! We have gold! Gold in the Freestad region. We're rich! The Zulu! That's what I'm talking about, baby! That's what I'm talking about! Oh yeah, baby! Graph go up! GDP spike! God bless the gold! God bless those who mine it! The gold is been depleted in Vrystad! No! We can build gold mines! We're gonna boom this economy! We will have the mines! A level 2 university! Fully staffed, baby! Boom! We got him! The prince himself! has officially opened the University of Zululand. Academia is beginning to flourish in the lands of the Zulu. Very good! The Zulu are the brightest, the smartest, the most clever. We're losing money? No problem. Gold reserves will cover it. Ah, oh, we're taking credit. The Zulu bank loans. Come on, economy. You can fix yourself. 
Ooh, that credit is getting pretty juicy, huh? Could someone take our loans? Britain? Britain? Great Britain, please! Well, we would be able to, but we haven't invented banking. So I guess we just owe money to some guy named Joe. Yes! What's up? Why am I sharing for colonialism? Well, that's because colonialism in this game is super easy. You open the diplomatic lens, you click establish colony, and you start colonizing. Very good. We'll get one in the Northern Cape as well. See? That's all you have to do. Uh, they do the rest for themselves. But right now, we have bigger problems at hand. We will get a new general for the military. It's only the landowners. That's not what we want. The president shall lead the troops himself. Very good. <laughs> He is the commander-in-chief, after all. A storage tank full to the brim with molasses intended for rum distillation has burst, flooding the streets of Pretoria commercial center, killing dozens. The molasses. It was waist deep. Covered the streets and swirled and bubbled around the wreckage. Here and there, a struggle form, covered in sure, like a goddamn candied apple. We can't close the distilleries. We gotta clear- Ah, we gotta clear the wreckage. Shoot! Economy's fixed. We're just paying off those loans. Like a responsible person should do. Oh yeah! We got a professional army! That means they know where to aim their guns. Forward, muscle down unless you're shooting. Very good! My friends, serfdom has no place in our nation. The only surf there shall be is surfing on the sea. Let's go! Colonies! Colonies! Yeah, look at that! More Zululand! Is this worthless piece of desert? It's ours! The Northern Cape of the Zulus! <laughs> welcome, welcome home! Romanticism! Wow, going to the movies! Uh, holding hands! Updating your Tinder bio! <laughs> that you're no longer looking for people! But not taking the app away! Come on, man! Let's kick those serfs out of here! I mean, let's uh, let's not have them even be serfs to begin with! Mjanmar Kepamande wants to build a university! Absolutely, sir! If you wanna build that, go, go ahead. Let's get some more reading. Come on, boys, start reading. But we just got nationalism. Uh-oh. <laughs> more gold booms for the Zulu people, please. There's gold here too. I know it. I mean, there could be gold anywhere. Look under your couch. And would you look at that? We have colonized Basutu. It's a proper state now. Nice. We can't colonize here because we need quinine. That's how you stop malaria. Are oh, they trying to preserve the serfdom? Why? Why are you doing that, huh? You, you like serfs? You think it's funny? Like the Mountain Blade Warband? Eh? It's our harvesting season. <laughs> Is that the kind of surf you think about? Because if it's like that, I think it's kind of kind of hilarious. They look a bit funny. Not in the lands of the Zulu. The Zulu shall be surf free. Surf free? Sell tea. <laughs> That's our motto. Oh, God bless the Zulus. We have a farming boom. More bananas. I have never been this excited about bananas in a paradox game. Make of that what you will. New player has entered the market. It's the French. They are willing to talk to us. Let's become friends. I'm gonna stop importing clippers. Because right now, Britain, eh, we'll make them ourselves, okay? Zulu clippers for Zulu shippers, all right? That's that's the motto. Come on, abolish serfdom. Yes, there we have it. <laughs> no more serfdom. We're in a modern age now. There you go, people. Now you're free. All oh, right, we still have slaves. Let's go. More gold! Give me the money! The gold fields of Transvaal! Yes! Another gold rush! Let's get organized sports. And before we had this, there was absolutely no organization. No rules, hit the ball with whatever thing you want. Zulu sport was wild. It was the best of times, it was the worst of times. And the gold fields are depleted. Chucks. Our economy isn't really based on finding gold all the time, but it sure helps it. As you can see by my GDP. That's the gold. For that right there, that's the gold. <laughs> my devout people, I love you very much. But uh, you're not very popular. I'm gonna kick you out. And I'm gonna replace you with the smart people. The fart smell us against the smart fellas. My Zulu countrymen, it is with great happiness that I say that we will be banning slavery. The landowners, they are pissed. They are absolutely fuming. This is happening whether you want it or not. It is not an option of being like, yeah. I want my slaves. No, sir. That's wrong. You can't own a guy. That's kind of fruity, my dude. Investing in gold is a good thing. Because that's like guaranteed money. Give me gold mines. I've figured it out. I'm just gonna be a gold mining nation. Portugal. Why do they own this land? Look at all of this. This could be mine. I need all of this. Maybe it's my responsibility, huh? To take that from you. I'm gonna tax luxury clothing. You wanna have a Balenciaga shirt in, in the Zulu nation? No. Forget about it. <laughs> We're also gonna put a tariff on tea. You wanna drink tea? 
<laughs> That's for the British. Drink water instead. We have finally done it. Slavery is banned. Hussar! Hussar! A glorious day for the people of the Zulu nation. Census suffrage, let's go! Every Zulu man votes. He is free. He is not a serf. Earns his wage. And he works hard. Very, very good. Freedom, equality, brotherhood. We're having an election. Ah, that's the problem with democracy, isn't it? Democracy is gonna die because of me. That's not good. That's not good at all. You know what usually distracts people from uh, elections and stuff? Going to war. We are gonna build up our army. It is time to not only become industrial, but remilitarized. That's not good. That's not good at all. Well then, time to reform the government. Actually, I can just ignore democracy. I disregard your election results. How about that, huh? What are you gonna do? Cry? You gonna cry about it? Whoop, whoop. That's the sound of the police just having been enacted in the Zulu nation. That did just increase our government spending by a lot. But hey, the gold will pay for it. We're fighting Portugal, oh man, Sindh, Dainam, Dahomey, and the Zulu. But we'll get the Brits and the Frenchmen with us. The Brits, we could get you to join if you offer them to take a treaty port. Very good. And uh, the French, you get a regime change in Sindh. Huh? Come on. That's in line with your values. There we go. The Portuguese are absolutely crushed. Portugal, back the heck down. Thank you! Woohoo! Let's go! Now this is proof that we are winning. The Zulu people want to invest in the Cape Colonies. Why is the Shona people trying to break away? It's not like we're beating them up or something. Oh. Oh, we are. Oh yeah! It's about to get crazy in here. The marketplace of the world. You can get anything you want in the Zulu land. Yes, the Zulu lands are prospering. <laughs> now for the final piece in the puzzle. No migration controls. I got the event where a playwright wrote just a play and we bumped up to rank 30, which means that we can declare interest, which means that we can colonize Western Australia. We're gonna build a little port. Dingane Zulu. No, our king is dying. We have a new leader. Mpante Zulu, you're an alcoholic. Stop. We're gonna kick this guy out. He's 84, he's gonna die anytime soon. Who are these poor people, huh? Aboriginals? Well, we'll come here and we'll help you out. The Zulu people have your back. It wasn't the Swedes this time. It was us. We used to unlock dynamite. It is time for the gold mines to go absolutely crazy. Dynamite, here we come. Start blasting, my dudes. Start blasting. And here comes the big money. Land-based taxation? I sleep. Proportional taxation? Look at that money. We have turned our state into the most prospering little nation you have ever seen. And all through the enormous power of gold. Let every man, child and woman work in the mines of gold. Blasting away with British imported dynamite. Oh yeah, the Sukum... <laughs> It sounds like a bad setup for a yoke. The Sukuma people are allowed to be here. They're a valued guest and we want them to be in the mines. You wanna fight me, huh? You wanna fight? Let's fight then. You got nothing on me. Nothing. I am the top dog. You are the tiny barkman. You should just step down immediately. Give up. Push, push the front line. Come on, push, push, push. We can do this. We will smother them. The Zulu Blitzkrieg. <laughs> he has low supply, low morale. We can beat him. Come on. Crump him! Push the front line! For the Zulu! We can get all of Portugal out, and it's just the Madagascar Islands left. And it's plentiful of land. Push the front line! Boom! One last holdout. Oh, that is not fair. That is not fair at all. We're gonna have to do something very awkward. Naval invasion on this part of Madagascar, and we'll take this man with us. This is not gonna work, because we don't have enough boats. <laughs> no! Come on, we can push it! Win! Win! We need to land! Come on! Get him out of here! That was the most bootleg naval invasion I've ever seen. <laughs> Come on! Just a bit more! We need to take the Madagascar Island! I wanna see all the animals here. The penguins. Yes! New frontline open! Push! Push! Everyone push! There's people coming from Indonesia! Run! Push the gosh darn frontline! And push it hard! Oh, the Portuguese are coming back again. Rafael da Silva! No! Not Rafael de Silva. We got them split open like a cantaloupe. Come on. Keep pushing. I just want to get Zambesia. 
ban slavery, vassalize you guys and get some money from the Portuguese, you know. Don't, 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 need, don't need to be angry. Look at this three front war. We're absolutely stonking them. We got the, we got the technological advantage even. That's what I call the Zulu brain power. And one last front. We got it! We have a Zulu built from absolutely nothing to almost 40% literacy. Having gone from rank 100 to rank 25. And to top it off, we own the Western Australia. Very nice. <laughs> now, if you want to try this yourself, I really, really suggest it. These are the laws that I have. Banned slavery. No migration controls. Poor laws. Right of assembly. No serfdom. Police force. Religious schools. And proportional tax. I hope you liked this video. If you did, leave a like. Consider subscribing. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Until then, stay Zulu, my dudes. Yeet!